What's going on on YouTube? It's Roy Squelch Band here, back at you with a G Fu review. Today we're going to be reviewing the first of our new set of Dragon Ball Z flavors, being Evil Emperor. This flavor is a cranberry, raspberry, strawberry, cherry, I believe. Um, and it's the new set of Dragon Ball Z flavors that they did. They had the previous set, which was Kamehameha, Saiyan Pride, and Hidden Power. And this set, in total, we're going to have four, um, which is Evil Emperor, Gohan, Blackberry T, Super Saiyan, and Ginyu Force, uh, which I will get to the other three in later reviews. But uh, yeah, this is, like I said, I believe it's a cranberry, raspberry, strawberry, cherry. Um, I'll see more once we get inside the box. But so this is Frieza. He's the main villain of the of one of the first big sagas of Dragon Ball Z. Um, there's the Saiyan Saga and then they finish this one. Um, so Frieza's like one of the big bads of all of Dragon Ball Z, really, of Dragon Ball. And you've got Vegeta. Frieza fighting Super Saiyan Goku, Gohan and Piccolo here, and you've got Frieza with the Ginyu Force, uh, Dabura and Zar Zarbon with the Dragon Ball Z logo with Namek behind them, uh, which is the planet that they're fighting on, and you've got Frieza's first form, second form, third form, fourth form, or second form, third form. I think it's second, third, fourth. Or no, oh, back, backwards. First, second, third, fourth. Um, yeah. That's, and then like some lightning stuff behind them. And we've got the little kanji thing going on there. The purple top. Which this all kind of matches Frieza's color scheme of like the purple and white. Overall, a really beautiful box. Um, the other three flavors are single tubs. They don't have a box to them. Um, kind of like how they did with the other with the first Dragon Ball Z set. Um, which was just... Kamehameha had a box. Which, their box is right there with the tall boy shaker. That box is actually a full one um, that I got by accident, I feel. Or maybe just like a little hidden gift by G Fuel. Um, either way... Happy to have it. Always have a backup. Might like do a giveaway for it in the future or something. Might keep it. Don't really know. But it's nice to have like a full thing of G Fuel right there with the nice uh, fight scene that's going on. Yeah. And as you can see, I redid my uh, little setup back here. You've got the Fallout one at the top, the Witcher right there, and then the Dragon Ball Z uh, first set right there. The Witcher one couldn't fit up top of the display that I had so I ended up moving things around and now I've got that cool little setup and uh, I think I'm not keeping it like that I might change it up here and there all right so let's get into this box so first get the bubble wrap off of it Doo -doo -doo. okay I wasn't sure about that so we've got this cool like holographic uh Frieza versus Goku fight going on here with the power surge going on around it. And then the G Fuel logo that changes colors. That's really cool. With the seven Dragon Balls, you've got the Namek Sky back there. You've got the land of Namek down there with the water. And then more sky. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty solid. It's pretty much just this fight but on the tub on the shaker and I think this is the first time I've seen this green for the for the lid I don't know if you can see it in the video too well but it's kind of like a uh, it's kind of like a white top but with like a very light hint of green like a, like a key lime green Looks really nice, and of course the purple top. I think it's supposed to match Frieza's like skin, something along those colors, because it does kind of match there to the skin. How it's a little bit of a greenish white. Looks really nice. 
Um, of course, we'll take the top off. It's, look at this. Oh, that's a beautiful purple. This, this is a good shaker. I'm not too much of a fan of the, oh, of the reflective holographic wrap because it's got this like texture to it that I don't like. That's why I made that face earlier. Is my whole body shivered. Um, but overall, for the, the rest of the cup, beautiful. It is a beautiful cup. It's just it's a personal feeling thing. So, but uh, yeah, so the purple insert. Looks really nice. Put that with the lid. And then a nice good green inside. That is a really good green. Great to make shakers out of this one. Put that over to the side right now. Take out the creme de la creme for the moment. And get to what we haven't had in a little bit. That being... Oh, there's two! A sticker. So you got this one with Frieza holding. I don't remember what he calls his attack. It's pretty much just a ball of energy that he uh, hurls at people. And then I didn't realize there was a second one. Oh, <laughs> I, th I thought it was a sticker. It's the hand wash only for this. That's that's funny. Oh, we got a sticker, people. That's, uh, that's hilarious. And that was a sticker. That'd be funny. Just like put it on like your friends or something. Just hand wash only. That's that's funny. I didn't realize that. But yeah. Uh, so yeah, cute little uh, Frieza sticker right there. Um, I gotta find something to put all my stickers on. Been trying to figure something out. Uh, I wanted to do a mini fridge, but I don't really have the space or the need for one. So, kind of up in the air on that. But I'll figure something to put stickers on. Maybe like a, a board or something. Now to get to the tub. So, Evil Emperor, Dragon Ball Z up there. You've got Frieza with, of course, Namek behind him. This is my final form. And then you've got Energy, Focus, Endurance, Reaction. Um, they're not too much different. But they've got, like... These kind of like orbs around them. Which is a little bit of a detail. I, I like that. That looks pretty cool. There's like a uh, magenta wrap around the G Fuel logo. Looks really good. Of course, 40 servings. A little kanji thing going on there. Uh, 15 calories. Toei animation and crunchy roll. And Bird Studios. Shuinsha and Toy Animation. I probably butchered all of those names. Um, I have learned through watching these videos that you guys cannot read my supplement facts of the, you know, at the current moment. Um, I don't think anybody was, but at the same time, I, I don't. Sorry. Uh, hopefully, sometime in the future, I'll have better qualities and things to deal with. Currently, this is just on a phone, but. You do what you go with what you have. All right, so yeah, let's pop this bad boy open. We are using the free hug shaker cup again today. Oh, nice and cleaned up. I pretty much, uh, whenever I have my clear shakers and stuff, for the most part, I only really use them for like one or two uh, reviews. Uh, after, you know, wash them, don't clean them, of course. But most of the time, they're for that. And then I have other shakers that are for everyday use. So these ones don't get too uh, dirty in between takes. Pop the lid off. Let's see if we can get a good powder pop. A little bit. No, that one too bad. Ooh, and we got the scooper on top. Let's go. Just gotta get some powder off of it. I always have just powder set on the sides. I don't know why. Right. Like I said, it's a little buried. I think it's just the fact that it's covered in some, uh, in some powder. It is stacked full of powder. And I just dumped a, a quarter of a scoop on me. Get some of that powder back in there. 
Do, 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 do. Powder out. Oh, don't check that again. Yep. So, yeah, cranberry, cherry, raspberry, and strawberry. So, yeah, I called it. It's a little bit of a mix up. Um, the second binding of Isaac's flavor, uh, Brimstone, is two of these actually. It's cranberry and raspberry. So this is just that, but with a little bit of a pump to it. Interesting. We haven't had just, well, we have cherry limeade, but we haven't, I feel like we haven't had too much cherry too much recently. Um, there is the Mega Man Rush flavor, which is Mega Man's dog. Um, because Mega Man flavor, Blue Bomber slushy was a blue raspberry vanilla slushy. And Rush was a cherry vanilla slushy. I was not able to get my hands on Rush yet. Um, hopefully sometime in the future I can. But at the current moment, I don't have it. But that's cherry flavor. So, And of course, it's kind of a running meme at this point that all G, all G Fuel flavors are strawberry. Um, it's just a, it's a joke thing going on. Like A lot of the flavors that have been coming out here recently have been strawberry. There's been a lot of strawberry flavors. A lot. Um, but, I mean, it's all good fun. Strawberry's a good flavor. It's popular. It's popular. I like that we're getting some more crazy ones. Um, anytime that we get flavors, I'm just like, ooh, that's uh, that's different. And not just, like, added flavors. Like the Blackberry uh, Tea Gohan one that we'll get to. Um, as you have seen, I like Blackberry flavors for some reason. Um, they taste good. I don't really usually blackberries in real life, but I love, I love blackberry flavors in, uh, in this. But it's the more and more I have it, the more and more I'm thinking uh, Tawny Owl Potion might be, like, top three right now. I mean, it's it's really hitting all the all the spots I need it to. All right, so we got a nice, nice hearty scoop. The indie shaker cup. And we're going to currently put the lid on this just so we don't accidentally get any condensation of water in it. Put the secret tip on. We'll do a little bit of a drop and then we're going to pause. We'll be right back once it's all shaken up. So, see you in a little bit. All right, we're back. And I got to say, I, I, lo I love that there has to be artificial flavors to this because. Cherry, naturally, usually is a red fruit. Cherry, red fruit. Raspberry, red fruit. Strawberry, red fruit. So you would think in all aspects this would be a red shaker. No, it is purple. <laughs> Extremely purple. And I might look a little blue in, in the picture, but it is quite the purple. I think it was more purple than the Tiny Owl Potion. That's crazy. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it looks it looks good. It looks delicious. You know, I like, I like my grape. So maybe this will, like, play with my mind a little bit. I don't really know. All right, so we're going to pop that open. We're going to get a smell of the tub. Ooh, that smells really sweet. Mmm. Smells like a uh, like a cherry popsicle. I smell cherry, smell raspberry, strawberry. At this point, everything's strawberry. What was the one? Cranberry. Yeah, cranberry is a little bit of a sweet smell. Yeah, smells like uh, if you break each of them down, it smells like all four all four of the flavors. Um, just at different points, maybe not all at once. Yeah, kind of like, yeah, no, there's this scent. Yeah, this is this scent. The smell of the shaker. Nice blend. Smells sweet. Smells like G Fuel. G Fuel always kind of has like a certain smell to it in a good way. I think this smells more like the cranberry. It kind of smells like the, uh, the brimstone flavor. 
I'm getting some hints of cherry too. I feel like this too, you could probably pick them out. I'm not picking out strawberry as much, but cranberry and raspberry, and cherry a little bit. Yeah. Strawberry is just a little, oh, you can get strawberry. You gotta kinda like think about the flavor. Otherwise, it just all smells like a nice little fruit punch of it. All right, so let's give this bad boy a sip. Ooh. I had to go back for seconds there. That is a good blend. That is good. You ever like get something, you drink something, and you just keep tasting it on your lips? You just keep trying to lick your lips to get more of the flavor, more and more. That's how it's going. It just it sits on your lips, feels really nice. That is really good. It tastes like a melted popsicle. That's good. I know that's like all I'm saying, but like, I'm trying to get some words to this. Um, but it is good. <laughs> Tastes like a, like a like fruit punch to it. Good mix. Uh, all the flavors I feel like blended pretty well. You got the little bit of uh, tartness from the cranberry. Not not a lot, but like a little bit of a hint. Kind of dances on your tongue a little bit. Tastes good. Um, strawberry's good. The raspberry is good. It's got like a little bit of a, a tang to it. And then a nice sweet cherry. Not the like maraschino cherry flavor that I'm not too big a fan of. Um, but like a nice good cherry to it. Like a cherry lollipop. Um, this tastes like if you wanted it to be. I feel like if you took brimstone and power pellet. Which is a cherry lollipop, and you put them together, or even clickbait maybe, which is cherry pomegranate. And if you put those together, you could come with something close to this. Um, possibly, it might taste a little bit different, but this is it's just a really good blend of all the, all the kind of like red fruits going on. I think it's I think it's really good. I'll give one more sip because it's ah, so good. Yeah, it just it blends great. It's not too tart. It's not too sweet. All around, it's a pretty good mixed flavor. I wouldn't say it's like out of the park. Um, as compared to like other flavors that really make me go, oh yeah, that's that's get a second, a third, a fourth, you know, shaker of that going. Have that multiple times a a week. This is a nice like if I get it. I have a random number generator to pick what flavor I have for the day or the time and all that just because I have a lot of flavors and I'm indecisive. So it's nice to have something else to pick it. So if I get to that flavor, I'll be like, oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, sounds like a good fun fun time to me. Um, I don't want to say it's average. Um, I feel like it's a little bit above average. Let's see. Seven. Anything in the sevens feels a little low. Anything in the nines feels a little high. We'll do uh, eight point three. I don't quite know where that ranks, but eight point three feels feels good. Um, it's almost a whole point lower than Tony L, or maybe more. No, it's more than a whole point lower than Tony Al. Um, but yeah, overall, Evil Ripper, great mix of all those flavors. I mean, it makes sense that they made it purple. I mean, Freezer's purple and white, and I believe he bleeds purple. I'm not fully sure. I haven't done that in a while. I haven't seen those pictures in a while. But I think he, like, bleeds purple. So, yeah, I mean, it would have been weird to have a Frieza flavor and it be a red. You know, this like, I'm pretty sure Super Saiyan is going to be yellow because it's, well, one, the flavor fits. 
tier. Uh, Gohan Blackberry Tea has the name in it. But Super Saiyan are like, what about your favorite dude? I mean, I'm going to say what it is, but it's like, Super Saiyan, what do you think the flavor is going to be? It's probably going to be yellow. And fit. And it's like, it's grape, but why is it yellow? <laughs> um, but yeah, overall, Evil Emperor, 8.2. Out of uh, uh, 10 or whatever. Um, good flavor. I definitely recommend it. Uh, like I said, you can you can pick and choose all the flavors out of it. But at the same time, it's a great blend. And that's what I like about G Fuel flavors. Is whenever it's like, oh, well, this flavor is uh, strawberry and kiwi. And you taste it and you go, I taste a lot of strawberry. Don't taste any kiwi. Or I taste a lot of kiwi. Don't taste any strawberry. That's... That's not so much fun. Luckily, most of the G Fuel flavors I've had have been, if not a blend, perfect. Like 20, like if this was it, it would be like 25, 25, 25, 25. Um, if it's not like that, sometimes it's like, well, this one's 80, this one's like 10, this one's 15, you know. It all kind of adds up um, to a good number. And overall, like I said, 8.2, nice good blend. You can taste all the flavors. They mix it together really well. Um, they'll be recommend picking it up if they had like the singles. If they somehow come back with the collector's box, um, I'd recommend getting it. Even though I don't like the hologram things as much, I still gotta say that's that's just an awesome looking shaker cup. I mean, you don't have to drink out of it, but just having it in a collection, especially for somebody like Dragon Ball Z, like I do, it's great to have. Um, yeah, so yeah, 8.2. Evil Emperor, good flavor. We'll be getting to... Uh, I don't know which one I want to do next. I think I want to do the Gohan flavor next. Because it's a mini tub. And I thought it was going to be like... You, you'll see in the video. But it's not the size I thought it was going to be. Not the, the design I thought it was going to be. But I'm excited for it. I just got to watch myself. Because like I said, it's a mini tub. It's 15 servings. But it's like, I got to watch it. Because I know myself, I know how much I love Blackberry G Fuel. I don't think I have any tea G Fuels, ironically. Because I didn't get a uh, peach iced tea yet. Um, but, so yeah, I'm excited for it. But I know how much I love Blackberry. And I'm like, I gotta be careful. I can't drink this flavor up. 40 servings, you're like, oh, you have that all the time. And it's like, not even halfway gone. And 15 servings is like, careful. <laughs> careful, you're, you're almost one third of the way through. Like, if I have it three times, that's one fifth of the way through of it. I gotta be careful. <laughs> um, yeah, so I want to do that one next. That was the one I'm excited about. The other two flavors are reskins. Anyways, and so I can give my opinion on them. On them, but the, this one being a new one, I'm really excited for it. Um, yeah, so thank you for coming around to the video. Um, like I said, we'll be doing the Gohan one next. And until next time, thank you and have a good day.